servant of the Lord. Hello, Pillar. Grace and peace to you wherever you are and in whatever state. My name is Blake Johnson, and I uh, had the opportunity to contribute visually to this year's Pillar Advent devotional. Uh, and I want to share that piece with you here. Uh, it's titled, Thus the Lord Has Done for Me, um, which uh, is a quote from Elizabeth uh, that sounds like this. After these days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she kept herself hidden, saying, Thus the Lord has done for me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Thus the Lord has done for me. In a certain sense, I think those words are very easy to say. We know Christ. We know who he will grow up to be. We know uh, who he will die for, and we know that he will rise again. Thus the Lord has done for me. He's in control. And yet, when I think of Elizabeth in this moment, in her house for months on end, uh, with not even her husband to speak to, carrying the weight and uncertainty and mystery all by herself, thus the Lord has done for me, is, is a very scary idea, an idea we have no control over. It's what the Lord has done. Um, <clears throat> and there's a beautiful moment when Mary comes to visit um, and we see or we hear about the baby leaping in the womb um, and Elizabeth, I'm sure, being filled with, with such a joy, such an affirmation that, that it's true, um, that the Lord is, is with her and for her and thus the Lord has done for me uh, can once again be, be said with a sigh and, and there's peace, um, you know, an at last kind of feeling. Um, and, you know, I've thought so much about community making this peace. I had Mary and Elizabeth locked in arms, and and as much as I want just the the message and the point to be that, you know, in the company of others is, is where, you know, our faith uh, can be reassured. Um, I know that that, that, is, that looks different right now, and, and that's more difficult. Um, but it's, it's beautiful the way that it's described in the text uh, because it's not with Mary and Elizabeth's embrace uh, does the baby leap. It's not with uh, the sight of, of Mary that the baby leaps. It's, it's in the sound of her greeting. It's, it's just in a voice. Um, and the Lord speaks. Um, and the Lord provides comfort. Um, and Mary uh, and Elizabeth... Um, can trust that much more that, that God is for them and uh, is leading them. Um, so we can even do that. We can attain that, just a voice. Um, and so my my hope and prayer for all of us is, is that in the ways we can, um, we do seek to um, aid each other in our faith, aid each other in our hope, um, aid each other in our, in our questioning and our mystery. Um, and say together, thus the Lord has done for me. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.